There's some things Harry Styles never dreamed he would do. And talking about drugs and breasts in front of his mum was one of them. Harry, 28, returned to play his first UK gig in more than two years on Tuesday and had the besotted crowd at Brixton's O2 Academy singing along to every word, despite new album Harry's House only being released last Friday. However when it came to new track Keep Driving, Harry realized the downside to having his beloved mum and twist in the audience, as it included the lyric, cocaine, side boob, choke her with a sea view. I'm sorry, he told the roaring crowd afterwards. I never thought I'd say cocaine and side boob with my mother in the audience. It was unlikely Cheshire born Anne, 54, was actually going to tell him to wash his mouth out with soap and water, as she later referred to it being an amazing, proud mama evening. Harry's star couldn't be shining any brighter right now. His album is all set to be number one on both sides of the pond tomorrow, He's had glowing five-star reviews, and he's broken streaming records, with Amazon Music saying Harry's House was the most streamed album on its first day of release by a male artist, ever. With both Ukraine and Pride flags on stage for the one-night-only gig, Harry performed all 13 tracks from the new album plus old favorites, including One Direction's What Makes You Beautiful and his hit Watermelon Sugar. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz newsletter. Harry, who's dating film director Olivia Wilde, 38 also stopped the gig twice after seeing fans overheat in excitement, asking for the house lights to be brought up and help to be given before the show went on. One fan said afterwards, it was the loudest gig I've been to. The screaming was off the charts. It was way louder than even the One Direction shows. People were so glad to see him back. The feeling was clearly mutual. Harry told the crowd, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now. I pray that we just go home and be nice to each other. Well, the fans and the critics are certainly being nice to him. And deservedly so. Ricky Gervais special. The new Netflix special by Ricky Gervais is the latest stand-up show to spark a backlash with its transgender jokes. BAFTA nominated Annie Wallace, who was the UK's first trans soap star to play a trans character, issued a very aptly put warning to all comedians. Transphobic comedians are the new Bernard Mannings, the 57-year-old said, but they just haven't figured that out yet. Annie, who plays Sally St. Clair in C4's Hollyoaks, is often cracking jokes herself on social media. So perhaps she could also stand up to the stand-ups with her own bit of, um, stand-up? Ewan McGregor in Star Wars He's faced a cult in Doctor Sleep, 
murderous yokels in Fargo, and that toilet in train spotting. But nothing was as terrifying for Ewan McGregor as meeting iconic villain Darth Vader. Ewan, 51, is reuniting with Hayden Christensen, his co-star from the Star Wars prequels, in Disney Plus's new show Obi-Wan Kenobi that goes live tomorrow. But Ewan's Obi-Wan never met the fully-fledged Vader in the films. So he got a shock when he saw Hayden in the full get-up. I hadn't acted with Darth Vader, before, he told The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And I've been acting a long time. I think I've done a lot of stuff. But the first take with Darth Vader scared the ass out of me. Web celebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29